Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring one of the most surprising stories in modern aviation, why the Kfir fighter jet, a platform born more than 40 years ago, is still flying, still relevant, and still serving in multiple air forces around the world. The Kfir wasn't born from luxury or abundant resources. It was born from necessity, pressure, and innovation during a period when Israel needed a reliable fighter, but couldn't depend on foreign suppliers. That origin story shaped the aircraft into something far more durable and adaptable than anyone expected. As we look at why this jet continues to operate decades after its first flight, we start to understand how engineering philosophy, strategic upgrades, and real combat experience combine to create a platform that simply refuses to retire. When Israel developed the Kfir, the country was facing a complicated geopolitical environment. Military embargoes limited access to new aircraft, so engineers had to work with what they already knew while pushing boundaries to reach new performance levels. The aircraft draws its roots from the French Mirage 5 design, but the Kfir is much more than a copy. It was re-engineered structurally, aerodynamically, and mechanically. Israel introduced new avionics, new wing modifications, redesigned intakes, and above all, the installation of a powerful American General Electric J-79 turbojet engine. This alone turned the aircraft into a machine capable of competing with higher, end fighters of its era. It shows how innovation under pressure often produces solutions that last far longer than expected. The reason the K-Fur is still flying today comes down to its core design philosophy. Instead of relying on complex systems that are difficult to maintain, the aircraft was built to be rugged, reliable, and easily upgraded. Because of this, operators can modernize the jet at relatively low cost. Many older fighters become obsolete because updating them is too expensive or technically impossible. But the K-Fur, with its modular architecture, has remained compatible with new radar systems, new electronic warfare suites, and modern weapons. As technology advanced, Israel Aerospace Industries continued to offer upgrade packages that kept the aircraft relevant. These upgrade packages extended its lifespan significantly, making the jet attractive to countries that needed capable fighters without investing in expensive new platforms. One of the most important reasons for its long life is its aerodynamic efficiency. Delta wing fighters often handle well at high speeds and altitudes, and the K inherited these advantages from the Mirage family. But Israeli engineers improved stability by adding canards, which increased maneuverability and reduced landing speed. The result was a fighter with excellent acceleration, strong climb rate, and impressive high-speed performance. These aerodynamic improvements made the aircraft competitive even when facing newer fighter jets in training scenarios. In fact, the United States Navy and Marine Corps leased a number of K, for aggressor training where they simulated enemy aircraft in dogfights. The fact that the U.S., with all its modern fighters, chose the K-Fur for this role highlights its flight performance and durability. Another reason the K-Fur remains relevant is its combat record. The aircraft served extensively in the Israeli Air Force during regional conflicts, giving it real combat credibility. It carried out ground, attack missions, interception roles, and heists speed strike operations. This experience helped refine later variants with improved mission systems and weapon integration. Countries like Colombia adopted the K-Fur for similar roles, using upgraded versions with advanced radars such as the L-M2032 and the ability to fire modern air-to-air -air missiles. Colombia demonstrated the jet's reliability through long operational hours and consistent mission success in demanding environments. When a platform proves itself repeatedly, Operators trust it more, and trust often translates into extended service life. Affordability is another major factor. Many air forces around the world cannot spend billions on fifth-generation fighters, and even fourth-generation aircraft come with extremely high maintenance and operational costs. The K for offers a unique balance between cost and capability. Its acquisition cost is far lower, and spare parts remain accessible due to decades of production and modernization. Because the aircraft operates with a proven, well-understood engine and simple mechanical systems, maintenance crews can keep it flying without needing ultra-specialized equipment. This gives the K-Fur an advantage in regions where budgets are tight, but security demands are high. 
When a country can operate a capable fighter without exhausting its defense budget, the aircraft becomes more than an asset, it becomes a long-term solution. The adaptability of the CAIF -er also plays a major role in its longevity. Over the years, the jet evolved through multiple variants, each adding new improvements. The C-2 and C-7 versions introduced new avionics, strengthened structures, improved canards, and expanded weapons compatibility. Later versions such as the k Block 60 incorporated advanced radars, helmet, mounted displays, multifunction screens, and compatibility with modern missiles. These upgrades gave the aircraft capabilities similar to newer fighters at a fraction of the cost. Many air forces found that a modernized k could meet their operational needs without requiring expensive infrastructure changes. This flexibility ensures the aircraft remains appealing even today. Pilot feedback has always been important in the KFIR's evolution. Many pilots describe it as responsive, fast and powerful. With the J-79 engine, the aircraft produces a distinct, aggressive performance profile that pilots often appreciate. The combination of delta wings and canards gives the jet a unique handling characteristic allowing it to remain controllable at high angles of attack. Although Delta, wing aircraft can suffer from energy loss during tight maneuvers, the K, FERS engine and aerodynamic refinements help compensate for this limitation. Its straightforward cockpit layout, later enhanced with modern displays, keeps pilot workload manageable. These attributes make the K, FER not only effective but enjoyable to fly, which indirectly contributes to its long career. Another reason for its longevity is the availability of weapon integration. The k fur has been adapted to carry a wide range of munitions, from traditional unguided bombs to advanced precision guided weapons. Compatibility with laser-guided bombs, air-to-ground missiles and beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles such as the Derby or Python family gives operators tactical flexibility. This broad compatibility makes it a multi- Roll aircraft suitable for interception, close air support, reconnaissance, and maritime strike missions. Many small air forces rely on multi-role capability to maximize operational value from limited fleets, and the K-FER fits this requirement exceptionally well. The aircraft's electronic warfare systems also evolved significantly. Modern K-FER upgrades include advanced countermeasures, radar warning receivers, and electronic countermeasures pods that help protect the aircraft against modern threats. These systems extend survivability and allow the jet to operate in contested environments. This constant modernization of its defensive suite ensures that even though the airframe is old, its survivability remains aligned with modern expectations. When an older fighter can survive modern threats, its operational value increases dramatically. Another factor that keeps the K for in service is its structural strength, the aircraft was designed for rugged use and many airframes still have thousands of flight hours remaining. Instead of retiring these airframes, operators can refurbish them and integrate new systems. This is far more cost-effective than buying and training crews for entirely new aircraft. The durability of the K for airframe is one of the key reasons multiple nations continue to fly it without major issues. When analyzing the aircraft's long career, it becomes clear that the K FUR represents a perfect blend of affordability, upgradability, combat effectiveness, and engineering simplicity. These qualities explain why it remains an appealing option even in an era dominated by fifth-generation fighters. While stealth aircraft may represent the future, many countries need a reliable and cost-effective solution for today's challenges. The K FUR offers exactly that. It may not be the most advanced fighter in the world but it offers a level of capability that far exceeds its age. The k FUR's ability to serve as an aggressor aircraft is another important highlight. In training environments, pilots need opponents that mimic the capabilities of potential enemy aircraft. The k FUR's performance characteristics make it ideal for simulating certain types of threats. Its speed, climb rate, and maneuverability challenge modern fighters like the F-18 and F-16 during training exercises. Because of this, the jet continues to be used by private military contractors and training companies in the United States. These companies fly updated k first to train U, S, and Allied pilots, proving once again that the aircraft still has value even decades after its introduction. As military aviation evolves, not every Air Force can shift to advanced fighter jets such as the F-35 or Gripen-E.
Many countries depend on reliable platforms that can perform multiple missions while remaining affordable. The KFIR fits this niche perfectly. Its long operational history, consistent modernization path, and battle, proven design make it attractive to nations seeking capability without excessive cost. The aircraft's legacy in Israel and abroad demonstrates how a fighter born in a period of necessity evolved into a long, lasting symbol of innovation. Another point worth discussing is how the K-FIRS design has influenced other systems. The development process helped shape Israel's future aircraft programs, leading to technologies that later contributed to advanced fighters like the LAVI and advanced upgrade packages for foreign jets. The K-FIR proved that Israel could take an existing platform and turn it into something unique. This confidence influenced Israel's defense industry and strengthened its reputation for aerospace engineering. That legacy continues through radar systems, missiles, avionics, and electronic warfare technologies still exported worldwide. Even after more than four decades, nations continue to show interest in potential upgrades or purchases of surplus K fur aircraft. This alone demonstrates how effective the platform remains. Some countries that require rapid modernization of their air fleets find the K for appealing because it provides modern capabilities without long delivery times. It can be upgraded quickly, delivered quickly, and integrated without major changes in infrastructure. This rapid deployment potential gives the aircraft an advantage over more advanced fighters that require extensive training and support. As modern warfare evolves, drones and electronic systems play bigger roles. But fast reaction, manned fighters remain essential. The KFIR, with its speed and multi-role capability, can respond quickly to airspace violations, provide close air support, and execute precision strikes when combined with modern guided weapons. These missions are still relevant, and the aircraft remains capable of performing them effectively. Its blend of speed, agility, and upgrade potential gives it a unique place among legacy aircraft. While many fighters from its era have retired, the KFIR continues to evolve. This evolution proves that age alone does not determine the usefulness of an aircraft. Technology, upgrades, maintenance, and mission suitability matter far more. The K fur checks all these boxes, making it a platform that refuses to fade into history. Even though its basic design may reflect the aerospace philosophy of the 1970s, its avionics, weapons, and systems reflect modern combat needs. The cave first story is ultimately a story of innovation, adaptation, and resilience. It demonstrates how a fighter built under pressure became a long-serving asset for multiple air forces. Its continued presence in the skies is a testament to the engineering behind it and the strategic choices made by its operators. In a world where many air forces cannot afford brand, new jets, the K, first stands as a reminder that capability doesn't always require the latest technology. Sometimes, a proven platform equipped with smart upgrades can remain completely relevant. Today, the Cave Fur remains one of the few fighters of its generation still in active production in upgraded form. That alone is remarkable. Aircraft born in the same era, like the early F-16 models, My G-21s, and Mirage Roman III variants, have retired or drastically reduced in number. Yet the Cave Fur continues to fly, its service in South America, its use in aggressor training roles, and its ongoing upgrade potential keep it alive. Many analysts believe the jet will continue flying for at least another decade, possibly longer. This unmatched longevity speaks volumes about its design and operational value. As we look at the K, for today, it's clear that the aircraft represents an era of innovation that still resonates. It may be more than 40 years old, but its spirit is still strong. It remains a fighter that can adapt, evolve, and deliver. And as long as nations continue to seek capable, reliable, and cost-effective aircraft, the KFIR's story is far from over. Its legacy will continue to influence aviation and inspire upgrades for years to come, proving that great engineering never truly becomes obsolete. If you enjoyed the deep dive into the KFIR and want more military aviation stories, make sure to stay connected to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.